Hey guys, it's Ann over at Plant Obsessed, and today um, we are going to take a look in on the lasagna bin. And I'm going to put them under the really good light, which just happens to be on top of the big boy. So, never mind the, uh, the blue thing underneath. Today we're looking at the lasagna bin. Let me put the camera up and I'll be right back. Here we are in the lasagna bin. Haven't looked in on this for quite some time, so gonna see what I've got going on. Looks like some of my lasagna layers have dried out. I'm gonna put them in a bucket with some water. I think I'm going to have to cover this with something to keep the moisture in, too. Alright, let's see. So this is all I'm going to be able to pull open right now, but that's pretty good. Uh, we are seeing the worms have made all kinds of castings here. They're inside the avocado, which has a lime inside of it, I think. Um, but they're making a lot of castings. I don't know, let me see if I can pull back. Here's another layer that they have already started to make nice bedding out of the, the paper. And then underneath is just goo. All right, let's see if I can put that layer back down and pull this one off, and then we'll re-wet the, uh, the noodles. So what I am going to do is I'm gonna give them a good feeding their new layer. Got some bananas and avocados, tea bags, some cabbage, which I may regret if I don't cover up good enough here. So let me get everything wet again. Okay, so there's the crackers. Amazon box here. Try to keep things on an even moisture here. And if I don't, this is kind of what happens. It kind of stalls the lasagna. If I would have been keeping up on this, they would have gotten a lot farther with those boxes. But life gets busy, doesn't it? Um, if you are new to watching the channel, and this is the first episode of lasagna that you've seen, um, started doing this a year or so ago to see if it would help with the breeding situation. Because a lot of times you'll find worms will crawl into the corrugated cardboard and uh, lay their cocoons, and I thought, well, um, what a better way to do that And if I were to take layers upon layers of corrugated cardboard and make that their home and put food and cardboard and food and cardboard and then you know in theory that would make them super happy so that is the reason behind what I'm doing here in case you were wondering um, it works pretty well they go through their cardboard really fast uh, if I keep it the correct moisture and that is that is on me that the moisture got too dry here and they didn't progress very well. So now that I'm getting everything nice and wet, they've got brand new food, and um, then that should allow them to spread out and incorporate more of the, the cardboard as bedding and make me some more castings. So I'm going to wet the rest of this down a little bit more, and then we will call it a day. I don't try and get things too sopping, sopping wet. I mean, you can see the inside is still, still dry there. 
I don't want to make it become anaerobic, but I do want to keep it nice and damp so that they can break down the cardboard and the food. All right, I'm going to cover this up with a, some sort of a fashioned lid, and that will be the end of the lasagna bin for the day. In the early stages of the lasagna bin, it's not terribly interesting, so I'm sorry if that was a little boring, but I like to take you with all the process. All right, guys, well, if you liked the video, give me a muddy thumbs up, and if you're not a member of my worm family, click that subscribe button, and if you want to know what I'm doing when I'm doing it, ring that bell icon. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out with me and my worms, and everybody, have a good day.